Well, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Amy and today I have three of the new spring bricks from Scentsy to share with you. I have warmed these and I have two remaining that I'll do in a subsequent video. So today I'd like to share with you my warm thoughts on Orchard by the Sea, Beach Daisy, and Pink Apple and Nectarine. So I have warmed all of these, the first two for 24-ish hours and the last one just for eight hours. So I'll come back tomorrow about his longevity. But I wanted to go ahead and, and do this video. So Orchard by the Sea is the first one I'm going to share with you. So this fellow is described, and first of all, aren't these labels beautiful? This is a kind of a light powdery blue. So this is described as apple sea salt, and it's very much salty sea air from Vendor Wax, if you're familiar with that note. Linen, and linen is a kind of a crisp fabric note without the chlorine that I sometimes get with cotton. Uh, and then green mango. So from a scent quality standpoint, the salty sea air, or what they're calling sea salt, is by far the dominant note here. It's followed up then by that combination of the apple and the green mango. Now, I would not have known there was mango in here if it didn't say that. It doesn't come out as mango as, it, as mango has come forward in so many new scents this year. In this one, it's mixed with the apple so well that I would not have pulled it out independently. So the apple and the mango give the sweetness, which is really nice. So you do have this fruity background behind that strong salty sea air. The linen for me kind of got lost. Um, I don't doubt that it's here. I mean, it's, it says they've put that in there, but the salty sea air is so strong that I really didn't pull linen out as a note. So from a scent quality standpoint, strong salty sea air, nice fruity background. The first part of the day on day one, the apple, the fruity blend led by the apple was more dominant, not more than the salty sea air, but more dominant than later in the day. As the day wore on, the fruit kind of fell away, it was very much more in the background, and you were left with that strong salty sea air. It's just all about that salty note. So from a performance standpoint, this one did really well. This was an eight to a nine uh, all the morning of day one, and then a seven to an eight uh, for the remainder of the time up to about 22 hours. So very good performer. Um, it threw well throughout the house. I could smell it everywhere, very strong, very steady. This one didn't go up and down. You know, sometimes you have fluctuations in a scent or a strong scent may fade. No, this is that salty sea air is a constant, which for me is not entirely a pleasant experience. <laughs> this is very pretty, more so in the beginning, and then as the fruit kind of falls away to me and you're left with that strong salty note, um, I really don't want that for hours and hours personally. Now, if you like a salty scent, that salty sea air, you'll be, you'll be very happy with this one. And it is a great performer. So you want, I had a third of a cube in three different rooms and it just was steady and dependable for, for the whole time, about 22 hours. So that is Orchard by the Sea. Next up we have Beach Daisy which is a lovely yellow wax, light yellow, a soft yellow. So this one is described as honeydew, daisies, and green apple. So now, when you hear the word honeydew, I know a lot of people don't care for melon scents. Don't worry. It, to me, this is not identifiable as melon. It's very well blended with the apple, and it, it just makes a sweet, fruity background. So, and then the daisy. So the daisy is by far the strongest note. And it's similar to the daisy, if you think of um, chamomile daisy or some of the other daisy scents that Scentsy has, I, you'll be familiar with that particular floral note because it's, it's very specific. So it, this is led by the daisy. It is kind of what I, I, I would call a cheerful floral. It's not sharp. It's, um, it's very sweet and pleasing. And with that fruity background, it's, it's a lovely fragrance in, to my nose. 
So now from a performance standpoint, um, this one was lighter than the other two that I'm telling you about today. So this one, um, but not horribly so, still very present. So this one took a little longer to get rolling. By hour two, it was a six to a seven, so very present in all of the rooms. Again, I had this in three different rooms. I only melted one of these a day because I just wanted to try out different warmers. So um, it was in two 25 watt bulb warmers and one 13 watt element warmer in the bathroom. That one's that succute, succute lent garden warmer. Um, still a six to a seven um, by hour four. Now in this one, uh, unlike um, Orchard by the Sea, the daisy fell away. So the fruit kind of hung in there, that honeydew and apple mixture, which again is not melon, esque to me. That was pretty constant and the daisy kind of became less noticeable as the day wore on. It's still present, just not as strong. So then by hour nine, this was a set of six, more apple noticeable. Hour 11, same, very pretty. And then by hour 14, so last evening it was at about a five. And then this morning, hour 23, it was about a three to a four. I had to approach the warmer. I didn't have to go hang my head over the dish, but I did have to come closer to it. So it was filling really only the front part of the living room rather than filling the whole room by hour 20, uh, 23. So about a three to a four. So, you know, not, so this is, a, you know, a medium intensity medium high to begin and medium intensity for most of it and then falling off by hour 24 to a three to a four. But I found this one, just if, if I give just my, my subjective opinion, that's just the world according to Amy, I like this one very well. It's just a lovely, it kind of raises your spirits. It's a very um, pleasing, uplifting, uh, friendly to many sniffers, I would say, scent. This is not a harsh floral in any way. So that's Beach Daisy, right there with my notes. And then finally, and this is the one I'm melting today. This is Pink Apple and Nectarine, which is a very pretty, somewhere between a pink and a red. I guess there's a name for that. So this one is described as Pink Apple, Nectarine, and Sugar Cane. So when you hear Nectarine, Nectarine is the smooth peach, not the fuzzy peach. Don't worry, it, to me this doesn't read peach at all. It's just a lovely sweet fruit. Um, and then mixed with the apple and the sugar cane. So it makes it quite sweet. Now pink apple. So I thought, well, what is pink apple? So I looked it up and there is a variety of apple called a pink apple. But also, because this smells very floral to me, I found a fragrance oil called pink apple fragrance oil and it contains lily of the valley and apple. So I think that's what this is. It doesn't say lily of the valley, but to me this is very floral. So from a scent quality standpoint, beautiful, sweet, fruity background again with that uh, combination of nectarine and apple and sugar canes. So it's very sweet, but then there's a strong, I would even say heady white floral and I believe it's lily of the valley. It's absolutely beautiful. It is what we could say perfumey, but it doesn't contain amber. When I smelled this on cold, I was a little worried that it might have amber, you know, or something more on the powdery side. But to me, that's not it. On warm, this is floral and fruit. Very sweet, very heady. So from a performance standpoint, this is another strong performer. It was quick to throw. This is when you put in the warmer and by the time you've walked to the other end of the room, you can smell it already. It was an eight to a nine up to hour five, closer to the nine, but I try not to overstate the case, but this was an eight to a nine for five hours. And then it's dipped down ever so slightly in the afternoon and still an eight. So very strong, I can smell it pretty well in the kitchen. It's filling the living room. This isn't throwing as well as Orchard by the Sea by throw. I mean going to other parts of the house. It's pretty much staying contained in the rooms that it's melting in. I do have this in three warmers again. I have it in the succulent warmer in the bathroom, uh, 25 watt warmer in the living room, and 25 watt warmer in the enclosed porch where it is quite strong because that's a smaller area without ventilation. So a um, great performer um, and very pleasing. But this to me is a heady floral. 
so there you have it these are our three um, and then tomorrow I'll come back it actually may be today is Saturday no today's Friday I will probably post on Sunday so that I have a full 24 hours to do summer berry melon and a revisit of cucumber and cactus water so that's it for now thank you so much for watching hug your loved ones and bye for now